Welcome to 2018, the year we're getting free roam. Thank the Jeebus! I have a lot to say on this topic because it matters so much to me. And not just this Need for Speed, but Need for Speed going forward. And I just want to talk about so many bloody things in the video, so be prepared. First things first, let's jump in and start customizing this Camaro. But the main topic of this video is talking about free roam. Now, it should have been in at launch. There's no doubt about it. It should have been there. I actually kind of like that. That looks kind of cool. Normally, I go for the big massive diffuser, but I might not actually do that for once. I've spoken a little bit about the free roam before and why it should have been there. And I, why are my thoughts as to why it wasn't there? My main thought as to why it wasn't actually there is because they put obviously too much focus into the fact that the game was going to be always offline, not, not no longer always offline. When it's removed, always online, because that was one of the main complaints that people had. And with that, it killed all drive. And obviously with the main shout of, we want it to be offline, people wanted to play it offline, so they made it offline. Speed list was already there at launch, which obviously you don't want to get rid of it. But obviously online free roam then was deleted because of the fact that it was just all drive before. So anyway, that's where my idea enters to why it's gone. Uh, should it have actually been added? Yes. Releasing a game this year, this generation, without multiplayer being a pretty much at least half focus, especially when a racing game, it was a dumb move. Gran Turismo comes out and has a multiplayer main focus. And then every other game is adding in multiplayer. It's like a big main focus. I mean, Forza are done away with the story completely. So in my eyes, that should have been like, okay, why are they done away with the story completely? Surely there's some meaning behind that. Well, other than the fact that they're lazy. But my point is, the multiplayer nowadays is just something that we all jump straight to as soon as we have built cars, as soon as we have played a little bit of the story. Sometimes most people jump straight into multiplayer and why it wasn't there was we know a reason possibly why but it should have been there it should have taken priority over speed list in my opinion speed list should not have been there i would rather have focus on having the free row but again the speed list concept was already there but at the same time they had to redo all the menus they had to choose which races were going to be in there the restrictions that sort of stuff that time could have been used to make a very basic free row i don't care if it had nothing in it and it was just empty driving on with friends and being able to maybe switch cars at most or switch between a few select cars you've already selected how it is now all you had to do is make it so that if they were in a lobby they didn't ready up they didn't start the event like how how much more difficult can i can it be that brings me to the point of oh my god i'm being dominated in this right i think i'm gonna sell on hard actually which is probably why but brings me to the main point of this i want to talk about Using this as a step bridge to talk about the future of Need for Speed, in my opinion, and how it should be done. Because, let's be honest, a lot of people are done with payback. And that was going to be true, even if there was no online free run right at the beginning of the game. People played the game and they're done with it. I don't know what is happening here. Camaro, you, su you should at least be in third place right now. Oh, I know why. It's because I've got Break to Drift. Multiplayer needs a bigger focus in the series from now on. It's always been on the back burner, in my opinion. It's been very basic 2015 we had the speedless update that was basically the only multiplayer fo thing there really was uh, and then in the previous yeah, game we had all drive and no multiplayer focus other than all drive which was absolutely useless we couldn't actually play the multiplayer whatsoever because if you try to play with someone then you get the police after you and you would die but i think this game in particular because of the fact of how it's been done it's gonna make them realize that when people finish the game, they want to do free roam. They want to play with their friends. They want to muck about. That's how people miss this. The longer the campaign, the better. The grindier the campaign, to me personally, the better. The more I enjoy it, the longer I enjoy it for. I would personally keep playing a single player game if I had post game stuff of unlocking a car that took like 20 million years of game hours. That's my type of thing. But. I do think that what they should have shaved some of the single player off. There was quite a bit of it that I felt was a little bit unnecessary. Uh, you don't necessarily need some of the special people in the some of the street leagues felt a little bit useless, right? I mean, they could have they could have been done without, and that time could have been used to actually further develop the multiplayer and have mini games and, and fun things like that. If you think for a second that the reason people are still playing Forza Horizon is because of this amazing single player game campaign. You're absolutely deluded. That is, it has possibly the worst excuse for a campaign 
of any racing game ever. The Horizon series is pathetic in the campaign aspect. All of the Horizon 1, that's different. The reason people are playing it is because of maybe the multiplayer. You can jump in with friends and you can prat about and show your cards. And I, I have no intention of playing that game anymore, except for the new one that comes out this year. And the idea for me is I'm gonna play a little bit of the campaign. And once I've got a little bit of the campaign, about three missions through, I'll have a Bugatti Bayer and I'll have all the cars I want. I'll have my Skylines and I'll jump online and I'll do some challenges with friends. Where is this countdown? It only gave me time after every other, not every other checkpoint, every few checkpoints. I was expecting bloody time after time after time to go through all these bloody checkpoints. I need to speed up. I'm gonna be destroyed. <laughs> I want to see mini games such as well the the tag stuff, the the generic. I don't know. Maybe there was a cops and robbers kind of mode or cops and crooks. Some some just fun stupid mini games and challenges and, and multiplayer focus challenges and they essentially needs to be more focused on the multiplayer at launch because if you don't have it, what what are people going to do after the campaign? The, you, multiplayer extremely enhances the amount of time people can have a, on the game playing about prattling about doing absolutely nothing payback never got a multiplayer free roam update i would probably have stopped playing it in a few weeks time I, i'm very near to the point where i've done literally everything other than the new dlc which i have already actually finished and i know what happens and stuff the free roam basically needs to come soon super super soon and in the future games it needs to be in there at launch and it needs to be full of things for us to do. Multiplayer exploring, multiplayer folk. I'm going to fail this goddamn race. This car is wank, I tell you. Absolutely wank. I need I need to upgrade it though. That's why we're driving. I'm going to adjust the difficulty a little bit. And this setting I completely missed. Auto reset on crash. Off. I can't believe it's actually possible. I didn't, I didn't realize it was there. I, this is absolute godsend. That, that in itself is worth a bajillion pounds to go. So thank you. I, I will buy a million microtransactions. No, I won't. I've, I've already bought like two big crate crates, if you will. I don't know. Two big packs of shipments. I don't, I don't need to do it again. So all every room is coming. And I just want to know what you guys would like to see in it. So I'm talking about what type of mini games would you like to see, what type of game modes, maybe things we do as challenges and show Ghost and be like, look, here's what we want to do. How about you make it a game mode? That would be awesome. And you know that Ghost will be looking into something like that because I'm not like I'm not saying that they're the smartest folks in the book, as you can clearly see. The, the fact that no online free roam our launch was a bit dumb, but at the same time, they they do listen and you have to give them credit for that i i the the amount of stuff they did in the previous game in, including like a ripping out how the cars are set up underneath in the last game to fit manual transmission in there the speed lists in there the the extra missions in it. i've got to give ghost props for actually putting in stuff that people request in these games i'm just hoping in the future games they really realize the mistake they've made i mean i'm sure they have right i mean I bet if they looked at how many people are actually playing it and how many people they probably would have kept if it was on their favorite, there'd be a big number difference. Listen to you, mate. How about you move on my bloody way? You know, this ain't right. One thing I hope uh, that Ghost do decide to try and fix is before I left, and the reason I haven't been videos for the past two days, I did try and get two videos. Oh my God, where he came from, I don't know. Okay, I was trying to get two videos recorded for you guys, and one of them was actually going to be I was going to do at least one, and it was going to be a Nobeds video. And it was going to be on Need for Speed Payback. And the problem I had is the car designs wouldn't load again. Now, this is an ongoing issue that I hope is fixed in the free roll update, because otherwise I will scream my tits off. The issue seems to be that the host wrap is the only one that's downloaded. Once it's downloaded, it's fine. So we actually all had to simultaneously, oh, not simultaneously, but switch host over and over between all the people playing before we could see the liveries. And we just gave up in the end. It, it, it was just too bloody much. And I hadn't had bloody time. And I needed to drive to bloody London. So I'm hoping that that's fixed along with this. I just want the basic free roam. Drive around. Do nothing. Be a prat. And I'll be happy. If you guys have any thoughts on what I'm saying, if you disagree, would you like to see Ghost in future games? Maybe shave off a couple of hours of the campaign or something. And then add more focus into the multiplayer. 
I th I personally think that would be ideal. I mean, even if it was having a, quite a bit less and having a co-op campaign, that's just the way the industry is going. And I I don't know. I, I do think it was a massive mistake to not have it at launch. Let me know your thoughts down below. Be sure to smash like, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video, which will be a blast from the past. I'll see you soon. Peace.